This video is sponsored by Tokyo Treat and Sakurako. Hi and welcome to Ninja Monkey, the place for all things related to Japan. Japan is open! Yay! Finally! And obviously, the first place you will visit is the airport. Many of you have been asking me what's the best way to get from Narita or Haneda Airport to Tokyo. So in this video, we will explore the most popular options from Haneda Airport so that you can make informed decisions and travel the way that best suits you. Because really, there's no right answer. And a future Narita guide is also in the works. So you might want to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss a thing. I'll also be giving you a top tip at the end of the video that I use all the time that will really help you out when planning your trip. So make sure you watch all the way to the end too. So to make things easy, I will be looking at the options of transiting to four of Tokyo's most popular areas that will likely be in the vicinity of your accommodation. These are Shinjuku, close to Shibuya, Yoyogi and Harajuku, Asakusa, one of Tokyo's most popular districts, Ueno and Tokyo stations, both close to popular Akihabara, and Shinagawa, which could be a wild card as it's so conveniently located in so many ways. Haneda Airport is probably the most popular airport to arrive at and depart from because it's very conveniently located and closer to Tokyo than Narita. The main travel options include the Keiko train line, the Tokyo monorail, and the limousine buses and taxis. The Keiko train lines are located at the basement floor via escalators or elevators from the arrival lobby. Buses and taxis are found on the first floor and the Tokyo monorail is located on the third floor, also easy to get to from the arrival lobby. Right off the bat, I want to mention two transfer options that will likely be similar in price and convenience and will get you anywhere in Tokyo from the airport. These are taxis and pre-hired airport transfers. Traveling by taxi is potentially the most convenient because you can just grab a cab at any time and it will leave you at your hotel's doorstep. But this service comes with a high cost and one that I will likely not be recommending. Taxis have limited boot space, so if you are traveling in a large group or in a family and carrying many suitcases, this might pose a problem. In a similar way, pre-hire transfers can be very convenient, obviously if your flight arrives on time that is, and cheaper than a taxi but might be expensive for a single traveller or a couple and prices will vary depending on the vehicle you opt for. Okay, now that we have got those two options out of the way, let's look at how we can reach some of Tokyo's most popular destinations from Haneda Airport, starting with Shinjuku. There are various ways of getting to Shinjuku, Using the KQ airport line to get to Shinagawa, which is around a 15 minute trip, and transferring on the Yamanote line, Shinjuku is only 8 stops away and the whole trip should take you around 35 to 40 minutes. You can also use a monorail, which is an option that is covered by the JR Pass and in itself can be a lot of fun and convenient too, as you will embark and disembark at different sides of the train, so it's very easy if you have large luggage. Take the Tokyo Monorail from Haneda Airport to Hamamatsu Cho Station, which will take around 15 minutes, and transfer to the JR Yamanote line. And Shinjuku should be around 11 stops away. The whole trip should take around 41 minutes. The limousine bus is probably the most convenient way to get to Shinjuku, as you can take the limousine bus directly to Shinjuku in a comfortable, climate-controlled bus without the need to transfer or worry about your luggage. However, this option is the slowest as it can take between 45 and 80 minutes depending on traffic and it is more expensive than taking some of the rail options. Limousine buses from Haneda Airport even stop at lots of popular locations and hotels around Shinjuku, so you can choose the one closest to your hotel. You won't believe it, but I have never actually visited Japan during the autumn months. So, Sakurako's Colors of Koyo box, which is the one that I have here, is perfect for me. Sakurako and Tokyo Treat are a monthly subscription service and with Tokyo Treat you will get up to 20 of the latest, most exclusive, limited edition and seasonal flavoured Japanese snacks. Whilst with Sakurako you will receive up to 20 traditional 
and authentic artisan Japanese snack items, including Japanese teas and one special Japanese tableware. And this month is actually a beautiful tamari flower plate that's included. Sakurako helps in partnering with local Japanese snack makers to continue to share Japanese culture and traditions that have been passed down for over a hundred years. And best of all, all of the snacks, they pair up excellently with the autumn genmai tea. Pretty spectacular, I have to say. Check it out, guys. Ooh, this yes. included handy guide is not only very interesting but could bring some inspiration for places to visit too and it gives all the information that you need about the product for example where it comes from it's a it comes from aichi it's infused with mild sweetness of honey and the sourness of apples these um momiji cookies not only do they look super kawaii and autumn like but it tastes Absolutely delicious too. Another one that caught my eye was this cream-filled momiji manju. So good, very yummy. <laughs> so if you are interested in trying Sakurako, then use the code NINJAMONKEY and earn $5 off your first Sakurako box. It's also a really great way to help support the channel whilst at the same time getting a little treat that will keep you going until you make it to Japan all right, let's get back to the video. Getting to Asakusa from Haneda Airport is super easy and the best way to get to Asakusa is via a direct train using the KQ Airport line. The one-way trip takes around 40 minutes but can be even quicker if you get a limited express train. Trains run roughly every 10 minutes so it certainly is convenient too. The monorail can also be used to get to Asakusa but it's certainly less convenient as you will need to change and potentially walk or make multiple changes which is why I do not recommend the monorail for access to Asakusa from Haneda Airport although it is included using the JR Pass so it's something that you might want to consider. Limousine buses options are very limited and not frequent with only a few services scattered throughout the day. And getting to Ueno or Tokyo from Haneda Airport, Ueno is actually one of my favorite areas to stay at in Tokyo and Tokyo Station is similar in terms of access routes. But from Haneda, all non-taxi or shuttle airports require a transfer. Using the KQ line, you will need to change at Shinagawa Station and then hop onto one of the JR lines that serve Ueno or Tokyo. With the Ueno Tokyo line being the best option, with Ueno Station only being three stops away and Tokyo Stations being only two stops away. The monorail can actually be one of the easiest options because you will need to change at Hamamatsu Cho Station, but this is actually the last station on the line, meaning that you can't really miss a stop. Change to one of the JR lines that serve Ueno or Tokyo, with the Yamanote line being the best option and Ueno being seven stops away and Tokyo Station being three stops away. There is no direct bus from Haneda to Ueno, meaning that you will need to get a bus to Tokyo Station and then transfer onto one of the many train lines. Therefore, bus, in my opinion, is not a good option and one that I will be not exploring any further. And finally, Shinagawa. Getting to Shinagawa is a breeze and could potentially make your trip into the city pretty much stress-free and speedy fast too. Simply use the KQ Airport line and get off at Shinagawa Station. No need to change and the trip can be done in roughly 15 minutes. Talk about convenience. The monorail requires a change at Hamamatsu Cho Station and a further three stops on the Yamanote line. And the limousine bus serves the Shinagawa Prince Hotel with very limited few services a day. So these are options that I will not be exploring any further. So team, that's an overview of how to access some of Tokyo's most popular areas. I hope it's been useful. What areas do you stay at when you travel to Tokyo and what mode of transportation would you be preferring to use? Let me know in the comment section. I actually mentioned a tip that will make travel a breeze and that's actually Google Maps. You can use Google Maps to plan your trip to anywhere in Tokyo, not just the locations that I've mentioned in this video. Simply add Haneda Airport as your starting point and your hotel or the closest station to your destination and you will get a very handy breakdown of options for travel including the platform number and the carriage number for quick transfer too. 
These are usually listed in order of quickest arrival and will factor in walking and transfer times too. I use this all the time to plan my trips ahead of time by changing the departure date and the time and connect to Wi-Fi when I'm at the airport to figure out when the next train option is. Do you do this too? Anyway, if you found this video useful, then you might want to consider joining Team Ninja Monkey and subscribing to the team for more useful tips and travel related content. And if you do want to support the channel, there are various ways of doing so. Top tier patrons receive early access to videos when available and regular postcards. And all patrons get postcards from me when they sign up. YouTube channel membership is a really great way to show your support during live streams and one off donations really help the channel too. PayPal is usually the best way to do so, but a super thanks is also appreciated. And if you don't want to help out financially, then liking the video and commenting really does help too. Thank you so much to all of my recent supporters. Once again, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. And if you have, then prove it by commenting with an aeroplane emoji, even if you have nothing to say. Like I always say, stay positive but COVID negative. Arigato gozaimasu. Gracias. Thanks. Bye.